tell me um, about the drinking game um, during the readings. Um, when did, was that added and how has that, how has both the actors and the viewers enjoyed it? I'll answer that one. Um, I think the drinking game idea came from the fact that we were enjoying it, but it felt like there was something else that we could add to make it different. You know, like there's, there's tons of people that are out there doing readings right now, which is great, but I just, I feel like right now there's so much, everything's so serious and for a good reason, there's a lot happening right now, but I also wanted to put something out there that was a little bit more free spirited and fun and just a break from, from everything just for a little bit, you know, which I think everybody can justify just taking a little bit of a mental break, having a good time letting loose and just laughing along with what we're doing. Um, so that's where that idea kind of came from is that with Verily A New Hope, we did it fairly straightforward. You know, it was really with Empire that we started kind of branching out and doing all of these random, weird, funny things. Um, and I think the drinking may have helped with that just a little bit. Um, but I also feel like, you know, I, I don't know how many people are doing that uh, at home. I think people are, but for us, that's kind of the fun part about it is we're paying attention to all these different little nuances and all these different parts of the text. And then we get to uh, just kind of enjoy the show in a different way that way. I think it definitely has impacted. Um, we deal with the onstage offstage aspect of it. Uh, something that I was noticing as people are, as actors are getting more acclimated to doing these Zoom readings, a lot of other readings, taking things more seriously, you turn your camera off when you're not on the scene, etc. But, and people started kind of leaning into that. And so we stopped seeing each other when there were more scenes and things. Most of us had turned our cameras off. And so we weren't clocking each other as we were all drinking, which I mean, for me, as a giant Shakespeare nerd, the drinking game about references can get kind of murderous, especially in me being girl. I felt like I was having to take a drink. I was trading out with water starting relatively early because I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get drunk if I keep at this rate. And then I, I need to still be able to be a performer. And so it's been nice as people are staying more in the, like without their cameras turned off so we can like, catch who's drinking on what line and for what reason. And, and sometimes I forget that, oh, right, when R2-D2 is doing a monologue, I'm supposed to drink on that one too. Or catches a reference that I didn't catch or vice versa. And so it's, it's I think, has brought us to be a little uh, even more present than we were otherwise. I, I feel like uh, adding some alcohol to a performance really just puts us all in touch with our theatrical forefathers and, and forebears. Like, Drinking and performing has has you know been been around since Shakespeare and far beyond. So uh, I I just think we're honoring uh, you know Dionysus and all the other gods of theater and chaos and booze and it's just it's just the right thing to do. You know, we're a very historically conscious um, group of good actors, cover as you can see. Yeah, and nothing like a little bit of liquid courage to help with those acting choices. You know. Obviously, like people that are watching this, if you haven't seen any of our videos yet, please look us up, watch, watch from the beginning, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. I mean, we start very simply and then just kind of spiral out from there. So it's definitely worth watching in the original release order of Star Wars. I have to put that out there because there's people that would watch it like one, two, three. Nah. We got to watch it as the books were written, essentially, in this case. Um, and then we have our Facebook page that you can follow us on too. That way you can stay up to date on everything. Um, so it's Zunes, Z-O-U-N-D-S. So Zunes, <laughs> online productions. Um, that way you can follow us and have a good time.